How's it going guys? This is Edgar here from uh, Windy City Jeep Force. Here today to do a review and an install of the cool new little toy that I got for the Jeep. So what I got is the Apollo Intech switch system. Uh, basically what this does is it controls any sort of electro, electrical component that you have added to your Jeep. So this goes from winches to LEDs to air compressors to amplifiers to interior lighting whatever you have installed and if you have installed any of these uh, items you know that if you don't have a system like this every single time you go to install something you gotta add it you have to add another wire to your battery on the positive and neutral and then on top of that you have to find another way to cross your firewall and we all know how much of a pain in the butt that is so basically when you buy a system like this you only have to do that once and that's on the first install of this of these switches and then after that you don't have to cross the firewall anymore all your wires are going to go right here to the outputs that it comes with so it has all the fuses of course to protect everything make sure nothing catches on fire or anything burns up anything goes wrong those fuses are going to go out and then we have our relays and that's the outputs of everything that you're going to be hooking up to and of course your positive and negative that are going to go to the battery um, one thing that i noticed when i first got this out of the box is everything is steel there's no plastic this is all going to be covered up uh, it takes one screw to get the cover off of this once you get the cover off see, here's the cover and again all steel uh, checked out all the connections, all the crimping. You guys know, you know, I'm in engineering, so everything actually looks really good. There's nothing that looks like it's gonna fall off anytime soon. The quality of it is just for the price. It's just, it's there. It's, it's unbeatable. Here's the back of the display here that's gonna be inside the Jeep. So again, everything. I'm pretty happy with it. Cool thing about this is uh, they give you a ton of switches cover switch covers we'll go over those uh, I know I saw the Sasquatch one in there for all you zombie lovers you got that and of course you can always change these out like for example I believe this is uh, an air compressor one but if you have your own like I know I have an ARB the one laying around since I do have that compressor I'll probably use that instead of this but they will all fit uh, the display on this inside the Jeep comes in two colors it's in green and blue. I got the green LEDs just because that's my theme that I have going. No other reason. And here are the instructions that it comes with. The instructions are really detailed. They tell you, you know, all the tools that you're going to need. And pictures with everything. And here's our contact information. Uh, the owner of this company, he goes by Victor. He usually answers emails very quickly. Anytime I email them with questions or concerns, he gets back to me right away. Uh, usually tends to answer more towards the end of the night. I read some of the reviews on Amazon and overall he has very good reviews. Um, the only thing is that a few people said that they're a little bit concerned about getting in touch with him. But I mean, again, here's his contact information. And I guess they're just a little concerned because this is a, an item exclusive to Amazon. You're not going to find these on any of the Jeep pages. You're not going to find this anywhere unless it's used, of course. But this is only sold on Amazon. Another really cool thing. We all know how expensive this hobby gets. So, I got the slide up over here. Check out the price. Compared to all the other brands that we all know and that I will not mention but this is the pricing for the whole control system and again for what you get it is very well worth it and here's another competitor's item and that's their price but anywho we're here to talk about this system so now that i got it out of the box i'm gonna go ahead and try and install it the instructions seem pretty straightforward as i said they got pictures for everything this works for any jk model and again this is just going to be awesome if you do a lot of electrical stuff. You're only going to have to hook up to the battery once. You're only going to have to cross that firewall to get inside the Jeep once. Um, 
The only thing is that, of course, we all know it's winter right now. I'm going to have to take up my freedom tops. So that's going to be nifty in the cold. But yeah, everything is very detailedly explained. Here's our wiring schematic. Nothing complicated. Picture of exactly how everything is. One thing that I really appreciated is uh, I remember off the top of my head how the fuse setups are inside uh, under the hood over there. So they tell you exactly which fuse to use. Um, for anybody you know that really wants to know the details on that, basically you're going to hook up to this fuse. It's probably the ignition, I'm going to guess. So once you take the key out, it's going to make sure that you kill power to everything. So nothing's going to stay on, accidentally catch on fire, and your battery will not get drained. So give me a couple minutes, guys, and I'm going to go outside and start installing this. I'll do some before and after pictures of how the wiring ends up. You guys will see. I have a mess under the hood right now. So with this, I'll be able to clean that up. All right guys, so here we are now with the JK. First part of the instructions, it says, unscrew the screws with the socket wrench from the ECU board. So basically what that is over here on the driver's side, right by your washer fluid, here's the ECU. There's two bolts, one right here on the bottom left, one over here on the top right. We're gonna need an eight millimeter socket, and we're gonna back those out just a little bit. You don't even have to take them out all the way. The bracket, the bracket actually has a slot. It's not just a hole drilled out, it's a slot. So we're just gonna slide that in there. All right, so after I took the plastic pieces off, while well, I had to yank them back, I ran the wire to the top over here, and there you go, finally got them mounted on. To get it to hold on, it just has basically a clamp, two screws. That was a little time consuming, just had to use some needle nose pliers to uh, get it to screw on. I'm a little curious as to how to the freedom panels are going to go back on. But, finally got it mounted. Now, time to connect to the M6 fuse. So, gonna have to crimp this on and go from there. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. Finally got all the switches on. Putting back on my freedom panels and I was actually a little bit worried about clearance issues. A little bit hard to see there with the lights on, but they fit right back on perfectly. It's not in the way of anything, and it freaking looks cool. 